Okay, so let's go to the next tool. The next tool is called MB Gridvis. So it's a tool to visualize grids, but I can also start the editing from uh, from my multibin files from this tool. So let's start the tool. Second step is I have to open a grid, but of course I have to prepare a grid first. Uh, I have done that. It's part of the workflow from this tutorial. You have, if you have followed the text, you have done this already. With I have done here a map with uh, 50 meters resolution. So here is my grid. And what can I do here? This is not actually the data anymore. This is just a grid. So and in this grid, I uh, well, I haven't uh, re uh, processed the data. Uh, so the turns that I had uh, before and I deleted are still here because this is just the raw data. So what I'm going to do is that I want to, with this tool, you can uh, go to action and you can actually open uh, some other files. So you can open another grid. So you could open, for example, a backscatter grid, or you can open a, the grid done with the side scan information, and you can overlay that, and you can display it in 3D. You can load a side files that you can also create with this tool. So you can have your points from, let's say, your stations, or yeah, points of interest, or so on. You can open a route that we can also create in, inside this tool. You can open navigation from real multibeam files. And you can open swath data and vector data. So let's go with the usual way that is we open navigation. So I open my data list and OK. And what I have here is actually the navigation from my file. So in principle, it, this um, tool looks very similar to MB Edit Vist, but here I don't have the soundings anymore. But when I load the navigation, I can actually access the soundings by doing this, for example can go here to mouse and pick navigation files so I can pick for example this one so I have this file and the cool thing from MB Gridvis is that now I can go for instance and say I want to see this file inside the 2D editor so I do this apply the edits yes I have done some edits and here are the the, the file so if I would like to edit that file with the 2D editor, I can start basically everything in um, from inside uh, MB Gridvis. So when I'm done, I just do done quit as usual. And if I would like to check this file with the 3D editor, I can do it as well. So it, uh, it immediately starts that with the 3D editor. So I can just say view all files and display it with the 3D editor. So this tool is actually a very nice tool because uh, if I see some spikes on the final grid, I can basically go with this tool to the files that I have already processed and reprocess them better so that the, the final grid, so the, the, the actual thing that matters for me at the end because this grid is gonna is gonna be distributed to I don't, I don't know other scientists or partners or goes to a database so that people that is not familiar with multi-beam post-processing can just grab the grid and work with that with this information so and another thing so I will close the here the 3d editor and I can also directly from here investigate specifically this file with uh, our um, MB velocity tool. So, so it's what we just did uh, on the on the last video. And another thing that we can all also open here uh, is that we can open this file with the navigation editor. So. But that's a, that's a topic for the for our for our next video. So, what else can I do here? Another cool feature from from this tool is that you can you have these edit sites. So what I can do here now is that I can if you pay attention here, I can select a site or I can add a site or I can delete a site. So if I would like to have um, 
sampling station here I can just click here with the middle mouse and I added a point and I can add another point here for example or, or I like this structure so I would like to have a core here so and you see that it's keeping all the points and I would like to have another core station here so now I have three points and if I go to um, sorry um, sites list I can clearly see my sites and if I would like to click uh, here if I click on the color name I can change the color and have them with different colors so it doesn't this tool doesn't um, substitute sometimes more advanced tools but it can be quite handy because you can have your your buffimetry pretty quickly inside the tool and you can uh, select the points and you have the coordinates and then you can save this and directly give this to for example the master from the vessel or the chief scientist and they can plan the stations directly from this tool another thing we can do is that from this tool we can um, with mouse edit routes I can create a route so let's imagine that uh, let's unload the navigation and let's unload our sites so imagine that I got this grid from somebody else and I would like to okay I would say okay this structure here is very nice and I would like to have a survey on the on the on this area so or I would like to make a profile with my sub bottom profiler or my seismic uh, air guns and then you can just basically go here edit routes and you can here add a route so if I press the middle mouse I, I put my starting point and if I press it again I put my end point so and this profile is visible here so I have the start and end coordinates and I have uh, here for example the the depth um, the distance over the surface and so you pretty have a lot of information that can be quite useful when you are planning a survey so if you if you get for example the Jabico database and you have just a, this very uh, rough uh, grid with uh, one mile resolution you can actually plan your survey with, the, with this tool and it is quite uh, useful because if you are for example using HiPack or WindFrog or you know you could already save this directly as a root file for these softwares and and actually here the, the options are unlimited because we can also implement uh, other navigation software for example we can implement the Consberg navigation software format here so that you plan the routes and directly export in the right format. So, what else can we do? I can switch off the, the routes. And another uh, nice thing is that uh, I can save this profile. So, if I have a profile, for example, if I go here and I go to pan zoom and I draw a profile that I can go to view and profile so here is my profile so if I would like to save this profile and make a, and use it for a publication to make a sort of scheme explaining the, the morphology that here is a sedimentation process that happens here and here you have still some sort of rocks and, and you would la have maybe some gas or fractures here you can basically uh, save this profile put it in, in a tool like I don't know GNU plot or grapher and just make a sort of scheme to explain your theory so another pretty nice thing let's see if I get this right because sometimes I just uh, forget it how to do it so I have a select an area and yeah that's it so I will zoom in I will clear this so 
So let's suppose that here is, a area, is an area that I would like to survey this with high detail using a AOV or using an ROV. So one thing I can do is that I can pick an area like I was uh, picking the, the soundings but here is just selecting the area so I have here an area and then I go here to action and I say generate survey route from area well this tool is more or less adapted for AVs so the, this, the line spacing is pretty small for, for, for real multi beam files but so I don't know the extent of this area, but uh, let's say, let's go to, I don't know, 500 meters. Oops. Okay, 500 meters. And the corner I will start is southwest. Is this a submerged, submerged platform, a su uh, vessel? Let's pretend that is a submerged platform and then I would say I want to have some cross lines because if I'm uh, oops um, no sorry interleaving yeah so if I'm if I'm gonna doing uh, some uh, navigation adjustments it's always good to have some cross lines so that's what the uh, Dave Cures is doing and that's what we are doing at Mahon as well so we always put some cross lines because the, navigation adjustments uh, are much more simple because uh, when you have the cross lines and you kind of have some intersection uh, and not just um, parallel lines so and once uh, I'm satisfied with the with, with the options I just generate survey and here it is so that's my survey generated by MB system and this is also a root file that I can export so if I would like to export this and load into a navigation software from from your vessels bridge you can just prepare the file from here and maybe the format will, won't be exactly the same but then you just put it inside a spreadsheet like open office or excel and just reformat it uh, the way it should be and then that's pretty much it so it's a nice tool to visualize your grids and to actually create surveys or points of interest so it's definitely a tool that you should investigate and also it's very nice because with this tool you can basically start all the other graphical tools and, and do further processing okay that's it bye bye